the correct approach in such questions is to try to get a yes and no every time so for example x minus y is equal to 2 if x is equal to 4 and y is equal to 2 then we get the answer as yes see x minus y is equal to 2 and x y is greater than 0 however when x is equal to 1 and y is equal to minus 1 still x minus y is equal to 2 but now we get no as an answer that x y is not greater than 0 so not sufficient x upon y is less than 1 this alone of course would not be sufficient because there's nothing given here x upon y is less than 1 uh, in in case such as this see the answer would be no that x y is not greater than 0 by y x upon y is uh, less than 1 or in cases where y is greater than x for example x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 5 uh, this possibility would hold but now yes would be the answer so yes and no both are possible so this is also not sufficient now when we combine on combining let's try to get yes and no as an answer so this is definitely a possibility that that applies on both the cases that x minus y is equal to 2 and x upon y is less than 1 and no is an answer so on combining this leads to a no and now on combining we need an answer choice that leads to a yes as an answer so obviously uh, cases such as x is equal to minus 1 and y is equal to minus 3 now look at this x minus y is plus 2 x upon y is 1 upon 3 which is less than 1 and x into y is 3 which is greater than 0 so for a combination of such values we get yes as an answer so even after combining yes as well as no both are possible therefore the question cannot be answered is right